What is up TCG Army, C-Money TCG here and today I have a very, very special video for you because inside of this box is a Charizard that is potentially worth between $3,000 and $3,500. It, actually, it could be up to like $20,000 if it's a 10, but I don't think it's a 10. So here we go. Uh, I think I, I feel like I have to share a story about this because a lot of you are new to the channel and uh, you don't know the story behind the Charizard that's in this box. This is a PSA box, by the way. Um, I was in an auction back in the end of June, early July on Facebook. It was a Facebook live auction and there were only five people in there and I just happened to catch the thumbnail of someone with the Charizard in the thumbnail. So like they were auctioning off a Charizard and I was like, that's odd because if you're if you don't know how auctions work you normally want to have a lot of people in there before you start auctioning off high dollar items at the time charizards hadn't quite blown up yet they're going between 250 to 300 dollars for a nice looking one something like that maybe a little bit more for a minty one anyway i get in there and there's a charizard in there there's just straight up mint like it, it looks unbelievably gorgeous and there's only five people in there betting and normally like i said again you want more people in your auctions to bid higher numbers so i start listening and no one's bidding on this charizard but they're selling it so anyway long story short i got this charizard for a hundred dollars which is absolutely insane like so at the time for a nice one it was like three hundred dollars probably on the near mint side maybe even more for better condition but it was 250 300 dollars i got this thing for a hundred dollars well, since then, the market has exploded, and uh, Charizards, especially like this one, are like over a grand, and anyway, so if this is an 8, which I think it's going to be a PSA 8, if it's an 8, this thing's worth about 1500 to $2,000, more on the 1500 side. If it's a 9, which it does have a chance to get the 9, it has a slight chance to get the 9, um, it could be worth between $3,000 and $4,000 of the recent sold listings. So $3,000 to $4,000 if it's a 9. It does have a small chance at a 9. It looked really, really good. I said it was going to be an 8 whenever I got it. Uh, the video is like way back when in a mail day, I think in July on the channel or something like that, end of June, somewhere around there. But uh, I called that it was going to be an 8. So we're going to see there's also an Expedition Hollow Mewtwo in here that we're going to take a look at as well. There's only two cards. My uh, my buddy Bearded Trainer sent these in for me back in July and they just came back. So uh, I'm still waiting on cards that are there from May. So in a bulk submission. But these are from July. So without further ado, let's see if we can't open this box up here. I've got to try to uh, dig into this packaging that Austin has really like really did a good job on this packaging here i gotta see if i can dig into this at all he really did a great job taping this thing up this thing is completely sealed i did not even attempt to open it yet because i wanted to share this moment with you guys the tcg army see if we couldn't get some absolute fire coming back on the channel today let's see here i think we may have finally here we go may have done it right there let's see Jeez, Austin, you packaged the mess out of this. You really did, my friend. Okay, cut and we're back. That took... Austin really packaged the heck out of this. Either that or I'm just a moron, which is also completely possible. But, man, this thing is tight. All right. So here are the cards. Oh, oh gosh, okay. Ooh, I almost saw something. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Okay, are they both face down? There's one. Is that both of them? Okay, that's both of them. Okay. Both cards are right here. Let's see here. Oh. What's this? Oh, I forgot Awesome was sending me this. This is a Mewtwo, I think a World Championships card. Very cool. I love Mewtwo. We'll take a look at that. Oh, I was like, what in the world is this? Take a look at this. This is a World Championships from 2015. That's kind of cool. So, I'm a Mewtwo fan. That's a Mewtwo Worlds Championships card they sent me. I forgot he was sending that. He did mention that. Okay. So, very cool there. All right. I'm nervous, guys. Here we go. Um, what? Which one is this? Let's see here. This is the Mewtwo. Okay. This is the one I wanted to look at first. Um, this one had some light hollow scratching. The front actually looks really nice. Is that on the... What in the world is on? Okay. So there's something on the card that's not cool and that looks fresh do you just see this what in the world is on my card it's like something sticky that i do not believe was on there before 
Like, at all. What in the world is that? Okay, PSA. Look, it's like something fresh and sticky on the inside of my slab on my card. That's some crap. This thing looks really nice. Look, there's something on the back. Bro, wait, I need to go back and look at this thing. Because I don't remember any of that on the Pokeball. At all. Let's just see the grade. So they gave this an 8. But here's the thing. Like, this... I do not remember this on the card at all. And that looks fresh. Like, it looks fresh and sticky. What in the world is that? That's really frustrating. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Because I do not remember that on my card at all. Like, I wouldn't notice that. Like, that's something you notice. Look how... What in the world? Okay, well that's frustrating. Because this card's gorgeous. Look at that. This would be a 9. I bet this thing would be a 9 if it wasn't for that. Like, what in the world? Okay, well that's frustrating. So there we go. Expedition Hall on YouTube. Gorgeous. I feel like this thing would be a 9 if it wasn't for this. But that... I swear that wasn't on there. Like, that looks like something fresh. I'm gonna have to go look at my pictures because I do not remember that on there at all. I'm gonna throw a picture if I can if I can find one, I'm gonna throw one up on the screen of this Mewtwo. Either from when I got it or like a picture for, yeah, from my phone sometime because I don't remember that on there at all. And that's a little upsetting, PSA. Okay, well there's that. I'm gonna look into that because that's mm. alright. Here is the Charizard. Do they What's on the Wait, I feel like they're doing... Like, hold on. Look at the back of this. That's like something inside the slab. Is that on the card? What in the world is going on here? Did they dock this for something in there too? This thing looks really nice, by the way. So there's no way there's a 10, because you can see dot, dot, dot. But look at this, like, I feel like that wasn't on this card either. You see what I'm talking about right here? Okay, PSA. I'll have to look and see if that was actually on the card, because I don't remember if that was on there either. Oh, that's so frustrating. This could be a nine. This thing's really nice. Yeah, this thing could be a 9 now that I'm looking at it. Oh, this thing's so sexy. Alright, let's see here. I called an 8 originally, but I'm looking at it here now, and this could be a 9. So this right here is... I don't know. I'm going to have to go look and see if that was on there too, because I don't remember that either. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, this thing is so nice. <laughs> we got the 9. Let's go. We got the nine, so this, that means this is worth between three thousand and four thousand dollars for this Charizard. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is a nine, a PSA nine Charizard right there. That is sick. Oh man, we actually own a PSA nine Charizard. That's awesome. Let's take a closer look at it. Oh, that's so cool. This is the original chase card, guys. This is the original Charizard from Base Set in 1999. Now, again, this is like... I don't remember that being on there. I'm going to look at that. And also this. Like, this really upsets me. Because that, I swear, was not on there. I swear this was not on my card. And, like, that's crap. Like, that, that makes me want to, like, crack this and resubmit it. And take whatever this is off and resubmit it. Because that's crap. Because look how gorgeous this card is. Then there's just like a stain right there. That, like, I don't... I'm going to go look. This should be a 9, first of all. Like, just looking at this thing, this should be a 9. It would be a 9, I feel, if it wasn't for this. Like, because that thing's gorgeous. Well, that's awesome. That... I, I'm, I'm going to consider cracking this and resubmitting it because that is 
That's a really nice card. And I don't know about this. So we'll see. But this right here is the money card, guys. This right here is what we're here for. Let's be... I, I'll deal with PSA later on that. But this thing is gorgeous. PSA 9 Charizard Base Set Hollow from 1999. So a 20-plus year old card getting a PSA 9. And I paid $100 for this. You want to talk about return on investment? I paid $100 in this. It's now worth between three and $4,000. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Oh, that makes me really happy. Gorgeous. All right, well, that's all we had for today. I'm going to look into this Mewtwo, but that is it, guys. That is it right there. Like I said, this I'm not going to drag this out any longer, but that thing is gorgeous. PSA 9 Charizard. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. This is really exciting, guys. Uh, this is really exciting. I'm gonna, This is going to go right up here on my wall, most likely. And, uh, yeah, this is a new prize card in my collection. It's not, still not my favorite card I own, but uh, it is definitely up there on the list now because that thing is gorgeous the story behind it's really cool getting that for a hundred dollars but yeah i'm really excited about this so thank you guys so much for watching this video uh lots and lots of vivid voltage stuff and all that good stuff coming your way so get ready for all that we're gonna hit that set hard and uh yeah i'm really excited lots of cool stuff coming away on the channel we should have another really big psa return coming soon we'll probably have our expresses coming back fairly soon uh the two rainbow charizards uh from champions path and burning shadows and then a base set venusaur should be coming back my base set venusaur could be a nine to join this thing which would be really cool um and then we'll have a a giant like 30 card psa return shortly after that so lots of fun psa returns coming your way so hit that subscribe button hit that like button we're monetized now which is kind of awesome so uh help me out hit that like button and i will catch you guys on the next one later